Hey, thanks for stopping by. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Click like, subscribe, and share what you see. Today, we'll be going over two short headband wigs that I ordered from Amazon. One is curly, one is straight, and I wanted something cool because it's in the 90s here in Atlanta. So I like the fact that the headband wigs don't cover your entire head, and I love the fact that the shorter wigs don't cover your entire neck or any of your back. Stay tuned. In true Jamie Murphy fashion, I ordered a new software recording program. Unfortunately, I forgot to adjust the audio settings when recording my review. For that reason, you'll be looking at voiceovers during the time where I'm reviewing the wigs. Thank you for your patience while I figure it out. This is the six inch half wig from Amazon.com and I'm showing you all the headband and the wig cap that come with the headband wig that I purchased. Pretty excited that they put extras in the box and now I'm showing just how it comes out of the box what it looks like when you get it. It's been flattened for whatever reason so I'm raking through the hair to give it a little more volume and shaking it out just to make sure that it's not completely flattened when I put it on my head. I'm not really convinced at this point but I'm going to try it on anyway. Give the people what they want. So right now I'm showing how easy it is to install. I'm just putting the two side combs in and adjusting, uh, fastening the velcro fasteners at the back and that's pretty much it as far as putting this wig on. Now I'm fluffing it out, showing you what it looks like when I have it on and I'm trying to pull the curls toward the front because right now it's standing straight up and that's not the look I'm going for. I'm not really excited about it and now I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see if it looks like the wig that I purchased and I'm not convinced that that's <laughs> that's the same look. I, they probably stole that photograph from someone, probably a nice YouTuber. So I'm trying to see what I can do to zhuzh it and I'm thinking maybe if I pull the headband back it'll be a little more forgiving. What do you think? Well, I think it's a little better than before but I'm still trying to pull it to the front and now I'm putting a headband on that I purchased from Amazon to go with these wigs. I like the color, it matches my blouse, but I'm still not. Definitely a no for me, dog. Okay, it's time for wig number two. This is a 12 inch straight bob headband wig by IEC. They usually do pretty good wigs. I am showing how the box comes. I like the shiny box and I love that they added a whole ton. Fake nails are in there, leopard print, headband, long live the leopard print. You get wig caps and then of course the fabulous wig in the box. So now I'm just showing you how it comes straight out of the box. It's got the lunch lady hair net. It's got the paper to keep the shape so it's not all flattened out like the first wig. And now I'm just showing the construction of the wig. The inside is a stretchy cap, so if you have a larger head, it'll stretch to go with it. It has the Velcro straps, just like the other wig. And now I'm checking out the texture, which is a pretty silky texture, and it's a dark color. It's a dark, uh, dark brown or off black, if you will. Now I'm showing the combs in the back, the adjustable straps, and putting it on here. Now what I usually do is have a wig grip, but for the unboxing, it looks like I didn't put the wig grip on here. Just kind of putting it on to see if I like it. So I'm showing how it frames the face. It's a short bob, so it's not all on your neck. And it's a good work look. Something that I definitely see wearing to the office. And now I wanna play with the accessories 
see what this leopard print headband is going to give when I put it on with the wig and my door knocker earrings. I think the leopard print really makes the red blouse pop that I'm wearing as well. And I'm just saying, yes, this is more like it. This is 10 times better than the first wig I put on. So now I'm feeling myself and I want to give you the angles. Here you go, the side, the back. The other side, get in, yes, get in. Yes, darling, feeling fabulous. So now I'm just kind of raking my hands through it to let you know there are no snags or tangles. There's no shedding with this wig. I like it. I feel like it would be a nice work from home wig. Let's try it with my work from home blue blocker glasses. Okay. I think it's a great combination. So what are my final thoughts? My final thoughts are that this wig is affordable. It's soft. It's manageable. There are no tangles or catches in it. It is very breathable. It's summer friendly. I could see wearing this an entire work day without being overheated which is important when it's over 90 degrees every day. <clears throat> do I recommend you purchase this? I definitely do. So let me know what your thoughts are. I love to see them in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.